WhatsApp video calls are only fun when you can see each other and if you're calling someone and they can't see your camera that's going to be a problem my name is Adullah you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix your WhatsApp webcam if it's not working properly so if you're trying to use WhatsApp on your PC and the camera isn't working the first thing that you actually have to do is head over to Windows settings by pressing Windows key plus I and just uh, look for camera permissions. So we're just going to search for not camera, camera, camera and uh, oh, that's gone. So yeah, uh, click on camera privacy settings. In here, the first slider, make sure that uh, camera access is enabled. And then uh, scroll down this list as you can see whatsapp is right here just make sure that uh, whatsapp can actually use your camera the next thing we're going to do is check whatsapp settings so if you just fire up whatsapp and then you click on uh, this settings gear icon right here then head over to video and voice just make sure that you're using the right camera i'm currently uh, i have two cameras so one that i'm talking to you guys in and the other that whatsapp is connected to so make sure uh, click on this link and make sure that you're using the right camera for whatsapp next we're going to check our camera drivers to do this uh, press windows key plus x and in the list that pops up click on device manager this will open up device manager right here go ahead double click on cameras to extend and you will be able to see all uh, of the cameras connected to your pc so for example if i'm using uh, let's say logi to c270 hd webcam right click it or whatever camera you want to work on and then click on update driver then click the select automatically for drivers option and windows will automatically look for and install the best drivers possible for your webcam if that doesn't work what you can do is uh, close this one and install a legacy camera driver because that often helps uh, getting things up and running so right click once again click on update driver we're going to uh, click the second option this time so browse my computer for drivers um, then click on uh, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and this will find uh, all the installed drivers on your pc so as you can see uh, since my driver is already installed i am seeing the logi c270 hd webcam driver but regardless of whether you have any drivers or not you will always see the usb video device driver and this is what we're going to use so select this on the list click on next and then install this driver and that should get your camera up and running finally if uh, updating to a legacy driver did not work either your best bet is to kind of delete the camera driver altogether and then uh, restart your pc to force windows to reinstall it so right click and click on uninstall device it will ask you whether you want to uninstall this device and make sure you check the attempt to remove the driver for this device box as well and then click on uninstall this will uninstall the driver and the device from your system so once you've uninstalled your device, what you have to do is essentially restart your PC. If you can't remove, uh, if it's a, a built-in camera or if it's a USB camera, just unplug it and plug it back in again and it should come back to life. If you've gotten into the video so far and you cannot figure out the issue yourself, maybe it's time to let Windows handle it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Windows settings and we're just going to search for troubleshoot right there click on troubleshoot settings uh, a bunch of troubleshoot settings will come up we're going to click on other troubleshooters and in this list if you scroll down you will see the camera troubleshooter uh, go all the way to the end and there will be a run button to run this troubleshooter run it let windows sort out what the problem is uh, windows will scan your pc for any changes or any problems and then it will suggest uh, what you should do in most cases, this does fix the problem, so um, you might be able to get away with this. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try updating both Windows and WhatsApp. Updating Windows is simple enough. Just press Windows key plus I and go all the way down here to Windows Update. As you can see, I have one update available. This most likely does not affect my camera and does not affect yours either. But updating Windows is just a good way of making sure that everything is good on the software side before you try to diagnose the actual hardware. Alternatively, you can also look for updates to WhatsApp. If you've installed WhatsApp through the Microsoft Store, uh, you can just open the Microsoft Store again. 
we'll give this some time to load head over to library which is right at the end and you can't see it so I'm, this may just make the window smaller yeah head over to library and you'll be able to see all of the pending updates and things that you need to do and you'll also be able to see all of your apps and when they've been updated so uh, you can just click on get updates and uh, the microsoft store will look for all the apps that you have that require updates if you've installed whatsapp from the official whatsapp website just delete it from your system and go re-download it from whatsapp once again So if WhatsApp can't access your camera on the phone, the first thing that we have to do is check WhatsApp settings. Tap and hold on the WhatsApp icon and then tap on the eye that appears at the top. In here, tap on permissions and make sure that WhatsApp has the camera permissions it needs. You can uh, change it to ask every time or allow while the app is up. If you're done with that and that didn't fix your problem, another solution to this is to clear the WhatsApp cache. You'll find this in the app info page that we just opened and in here you will see an option called storage and cache. Open it up and tap on the clear cache button to clear the WhatsApp cache. Sometimes a corrupt cache can be a problem that uh, doesn't let WhatsApp function properly. So clearing a cache can help. You don't need to clear the storage as well because that's not necessarily linked to the functionality of WhatsApp. But if clearing cache doesn't help and you want to completely restart or reset WhatsApp, you can clear out the storage as well. Another thing that you can try is to see if there is an update available for WhatsApp. To do this, open your app drawer and search for Google Play Store. Head over to the Play Store and then tap on your profile icon. Then tap uh, Manage Apps and Devices. Head over to the Manage tab, then tap WhatsApp Messenger. You should be able to see if WhatsApp has an update available on this page. If it doesn't, you can tap the Uninstall button to delete WhatsApp from your system and then use the Install button to get WhatsApp again and hopefully that should fix the issue. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if these videos help you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.